We're in the Materials Process Components Lab for the European Space Agency. Within this laboratory, we worry about any materials, processes, and electronic components that are used to build spacecraft. Work coming through these labs will represent every project that ESA works on. Samples will come through this lab in one way or another, whether they're printed circuit boards or electronic systems, structures, mechanisms. Bits will come through these laboratories and we will evaluate them. Some, they will come through because they've been a problem and we'll try and work out why. Some will come through simply to prove that they're going to be good enough to last for the, the life of the mission. The Aramis system is a set of two cameras and some software, uh, in its simplest terms. The cameras take an image of the same thing and because it's two cameras we can work out how the object we're taking the picture of is positioned in space, in three dimensions and that allows us to see, one, how the object's moving, but also how the object deforms, because it's not just a wheel turning, the wheel is actually deforming. If you put a weight on something, it will move. And what it allows us to study is how things move when we load them up. And sometimes we load them up by putting mechanical load on. We, we hang a weight on it or we force it into a different position and we can see how it will move. Other times we simply change the temperature and because the temperature is not even on a structure, it will deform. A saucepan doesn't always sit flat on an oven because as you heat it up, it starts to deform. And what we can do is look at how that studies because that's how our spacecraft behave. When we put them in space, if you're behind the Earth in the shadow, it's very cold. If you're in, in the sun, it's very hot. And things that are hot and cold will expand and contract. And so you find that different things expand and contract in different ways and that you end up with a lot of strain in the system. And so what Aramis allows us to do is look at an entire structure and work out exactly where the strain has been taken up and work out where it's going to fail. That's, that's what we're interested in. Two, one, stop. The Vega project, which is our new launcher, they came to us because they had an issue with their translation stage. Vega is manufactured within a building and then before launch the building is wheeled out of the way and the launcher is free to go. This infrastructure is in South America, it's in the French Guiana, that's where all the European launchers are, are launched from, it's close to the equator. And um, this, this big uh, uh, infrastructure is moving on wheels like a train, so it has wheels and, and rails. And um, the Aramis was involved in particular for one problem we had with the bearings which, which after a couple of years of usage were uh, degraded to such, such a tank that actually we couldn't translate the, or move the gantry anymore. So we had a number of bearings were failing and we were, weren't sure uh, where this extra load was coming from. So we posed the problem to the Adrian and the guys here in the lab and they came up with a solution. We came up with a possible solution and we needed to demonstrate, to prove to them that the solution we were going to suggest was really going to work. Uh, so what we did was take a bicycle, the, the bicycle I cycled to work on in fact, and we ran a demonstration here where we showed that with a bicycle, which was a little smaller than their wheels but had exactly the same concepts involved, and we showed that on a bicycle we could measure exactly the things that they wanted to measure. Then went down to do a, a second proof of concept in Guyana with the equipment, showed that it was really going to give them the information they needed before we went into the final test campaign. The new bearings that got in had a, a maximum out of plane lateral load um, of 40 tons and we knew that that was our design requirement and what we managed to show that all the wheels we looked at the loads were less than 12 tons so we had a margin a significant margin of safety on everything we did and that they would then be safe to uh, to move the translation stage and be ready for the next launch it is an extremely interesting job I never know from one day to the next what question someone's going to ask me. And it may be on an engine system, a propulsion system for a, for a spacecraft. It may be on an optical system that's going to image the Earth. Always to do with metallic systems, but always to do with spacecraft. And it's, it's very challenging and very rewarding. When you see something launched and the scientists are getting real data, uh, that's a really, you know, that, that's a great feeling, but I help with that. So it's good.